Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, everyone, let's get it. It's Ian K back again with another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews. This time returning to KFC because after checking out their newly released KFC sauce, I wanted to see what was supposedly revamped when it comes to their core dipping sauce lineup. And to help me out with that, I decided to pick up one of their extra crispy meals here. And as you can see, it's a box of KFC goodness. We've got three pieces of extra crispy boneless chicken done the Colonel's way. And I gotta say that outer coating looks like it's gonna soak up whatever I'm gonna dip into it. So I'm very excited to do just that. Of course, on the side, we've got the usual biscuit. We've got the Colonel's chocolate chip cookie. And to finish it out, a side of secret recipe fries, which I've actually done in the past. So very excited to give that a go. But as you can see with the selection of sauces, this should be a lot of fun. Let's see if the flavor is gonna deliver and see if it's truly revamped. All right, enough talking, let's peep this out. So yeah, I had a few of you guys asking me what's up with the other sauces supposedly that are revamped with this new core lineup. And after doing the KFC sauce, I definitely wanted to swing on back to give this a shot. And again, I'm really digging the packaging here. That definitely has some personality to it there with its chicken dipping good. I really, really like that. So you know what? Let's just give it a shot with all the goodness on the inside of this one here. I'm very excited to do just that. But real quick and like always before I get started, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to tap that bell icon so you can be notified as soon as brand new content drops every week. All right, you know what? Because I just did the KFC sauce recently, I wanna get that out of the way really fast because I wanna relive the moment. And again, I am really digging the kernel with his little mannerisms right there. It looks really, really cool. I love the idea with just the personality that these packages have. You're gonna see that with the other ones. So let me open this up carefully and give this a shot and again, it looks very, very similar to the finger licking good sauce right over there. Let's lift up one of these tenders, go for one more, relive the moment and give this a shot again. Crispy goodness, guys, crispy goodness. Let's give this a shot. There we go. The KFC sauce one more time real quick. Mm. Instantly vibrant sugary flavor on this, but with a very kicked up Thousand Island type of vibe too. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's not my favorite because Thousand Island with chicken is not really my thing, but that's the vibe that I'm getting with this here. But it's got a little bit of spicing, just a little bit to it there, but more of a muted Thousand Island, but with a little bit more of a sweeter type of aftertaste that I'm getting. Hmm, it's good though. Okay, and with that one out of the way, once again, since I just did that one actually, let's go in with the supposedly revamped honey mustard. So. Packaging looks pretty cool. Again, a little personality with the kernel right over there. It's chicken dipping good all across the board. Honey mustard is actually one of my favorite types of sauces as well. Classic Ranch is actually my favorite and I can't wait to get into that. But with this one, let's give their honey mustard a shot. Again, nice thick goodness here, guys. Really, really thick actually. Let's give it a shot. It's honey mustard. Light sweetness, honey. The mustard flavor is coming through naturally as well. It's a very distinct flavor. Again, sweet, but flavorful at the same time. And again, the crispy goodness over here with the Colonel's 11 herbs and spices, the extra crispy coating, soaks up very lovely anything you dip into this with because of what it is actually. Mmm, that's really good. Solid flavor on this one. And again, one of my favorites as well. So as we're making our way through this here right now, let's go into the next one. Honey barbecue, and again, take a look at the mannerisms of the kernel right there. I just love the personality that these actually have on the packaging here. It's really, really cool. And honey barbecue, I believe I did this with their wings not that long ago as well. Take a look at the playlist popping up on your screen here right now. Um, the honey wings over here obviously are very awesome. This is a variation of that, I think. And of course, nice barbecue goodness. And it's got some honey in with this one here. Let's give this a shot. Looking very, very nice, nice and thick. Really nice actually there. Take a look at that guys. Very, very good. Let's give it a shot. Mm. The sweetness is so elevated on these right now. And I wouldn't say it's like gritting your teeth type of sweet, but it's noticeably elevated. But smoky barbecue flavor, that's actually really good. And I love the thickness guys. Love the thickness of that there. Really holds in. And again, the nooks and crannies, extra crispy chicken, the very best for these types of sauces. Mm really good. I'm not really a super fan of barbecue sauce when it comes to fried chicken. I know that's probably a favorite with a lot of you guys out there, but for me personally, just the elevated sweetness of what this is and the overall flavor of the barbecue, this doesn't really do it for me, but the quality is pretty nice on this one. I have to admit, not bad. So with that, let's round out the very last one here, actually second to the last, because we're going to check out something in just a second. And of course, we've got classic ranch. And again, You've got the Colonel mixing up the good stuff right over there. Is he making this dressing right now? Is he making this ranch dressing? Well, we'll give it a shot and see if the flavor is gonna be any different. So far, 
Gotta be honest, I'm not really feeling anything revamped with this, but I do have my thoughts on exactly what is, so stay tuned for that. Let me grab another one of these tenders, and maybe we'll do some of the secret fries actually here. I'm gonna give that a shot real fast, but take a look. Creamy goodness ranch, the old standby. It's a lovely situation, lots of goodness right there. Creamy, thick, let's give it a go. Mmm. Oh, it's the best. Tangy, tart, creamy. Hugs the nooks and crannies of this also. Wow. Let's go for another. That is lovely right now. I think I'm saving the best for last year. Nothing against the KFC sauce, but you know my preference. It's all good. Let's go for another bite. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's amazing. I gotta keep saying it guys, the extra crispy goodness here is what's really making the difference with this right now because it's soaking up a lot of whatever I'm dipping into it. So digging the fact that that classic ranch is amazing, the tartness is awesome. And I have to admit, very excited to see what this is actually gonna do to some secret fries, some secret recipe fries right there. As you guys can see, supposedly dusted with some type of chicken flavoring. The last time I did this, I believe they were just elevated in salt, but let's just give this a shot real quick. I'm very curious. These are better, not as salty. Maybe a little bit of like a chicken broth type of thing. It's nothing crazy, but I'm glad that the salt is dialed down actually on this there, but nice and crispy. And I gotta say, these are actually, they're better this time around. Mmm, not bad. All right, just cause I'm curious real fast here, before we get into that very last thing I wanted to try, let me do some secret fry action really quick with the sauces. We'll just go down the line. Some of these actually are a little bit soggier than I'd like, but we'll just use them anyway. Let's give this a shot with the barbecue. Actually it elevates the barbecue a little bit. I wouldn't say it cuts the sweetness, but the saltiness with that barbecue is actually a little bit more preferred for me actually. I, I kind of like that with the secret fries with that as well. It's pretty good. Okay, let's do the honey mustard right over here. Give this a shot with some of the secret fries. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me right now as I'm giving these all a taste test for you on camera. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Honey mustard and the secret recipe fries. Wow. That's actually pretty awesome. I gotta admit, these are actually a lot better the second time around. Probably would have scored a little bit higher had these actually been like this then when I did the review, but I'm really digging these actually. One more. Hmm. So much better. Honey mustard with these fries are pretty banging, guys. They really are. Okay, so let me switch this out for the finger licking good sauce, AKA the KFC sauce. Let's bring up another one of these fries. I'm gonna round this out really quick. There you go, keep it in focus or try to anyway. It's okay. It's actually a little bit more elevated sweetness because of what this is, but it's not really doing anything to the overall flavor of the fry the extra little bit of salt from the fry. It's maybe making this a little bit more flavorful, but this is not my go-to. I'm not really a super fan of the KFC sauce. It's okay, but you know, for what it is, it is what it is. Mm. Okay, and to round this one out because I have never tried it, believe it or not, guys, I, my tolerance for heat is actually pretty decent since I've been doing reviews for like seven plus years, but I've never tried the hot sauce over here at KFC. So I thought I'd give that a shot to round this one out and I'll give you my thoughts on exactly what I think is revamped with this core lineup here. But let me get this ready and we'll get one of these tenders. Let's go for this one right here. We'll give you the close up. Let me get this set to go. There we go. Crispy goodness for you. Let's get that all on there. Light it up nicely. Keep that in focus. There we go. All right, the hot sauce here at KFC for the first time. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Hmm. I thought this was gonna kind of give me like a little bit of a Tabasco vibe because I kind of felt that vinegar feeling kind of coming up in the background as I was chewing this up. But it's a little bit of sizzle, a little bit more of a watered down type of heat, nothing crazy, but the flavor does add. I mean, it's kind of resonating in the back of my mouth here right now, but nothing crazy and nothing compared to the sauces that I've just tried previously, but it's okay. I mean, would I get that again? Probably not, but I'm glad that I definitely did it. And real quick, just to say that I did it actually, because we did it already with the others, let me grab one of the secret recipe fries. Let me grab a good one here and see if I can kind of do this without spilling. I'm keeping it in focus as keys. So let me see if I can try and do that as well. Light it up, light it up. Okay, there we go there. As you can see at the end, let's see what it does to the secret recipe fries with the hot sauce. Mmm. 
Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I would highly recommend this hot sauce with the secret recipe fries, guys. That's actually a lovely situation. The extra saltiness, a little potatoey middle that this has got, a little bit of the heat, and that vinegary type of taste that I'm getting on the back end, that's a nice combo. Mmm. So the honey mustard and the hot sauce with the fries, definitely. Easy recommendation. Easy. KFC, now I've fried everything. All right, guys, if you haven't guessed by now, and if you're asking me personally what's so revamped about the core dipping sauces over here at KFC right now, I'm gonna have to say, obviously, it's gonna be pretty much the packaging. And there's really nothing wrong with that because I do dig it. I love the mannerisms. I love the little action poses of the kernel there. And with the whole thing about it's chicken dipping good, that is the main thing that really stands out as being what's quote unquote revamped here. The flavors are pretty much the same. And if you guys have tried any of these naturally there, drop some comments down below. Whatever your favorite is, you're gonna know right away if this actually feels different to you. But honestly, for me, the classic ranch is definitely gonna be my favorite out of there. And that's probably my favorite pose where he's cooking it up there. But for what it is, like I said, the packaging looks very slick. And again, with the uh, release of the new KFC sauce, let me pick that up here really fast. Glad to give this a go, even though it does feel kind of like a rebranded finger licking good sauce, it is what it is. But I am definitely digging what this brings to the party because it does feel a little bit different here. So very fun to check these out and naturally just a lot of fun to give KFC a shot, supposedly with this revamped lineup, which looks like it's more of a marketing end. But hey, that's just my opinion. Do you guys notice a difference personally? Again, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on this. So drop some comments down below. What exactly do you think is revamped about these sauces if you've given them a shot naturally? And what did you think of the actual KFC sauce in addition to what these have to offer that have been around for so long? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. You know, they say third time's a charm, but I'm actually glad these were better the second time around. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.